Well, staying uh, with education, the government has been accused of giving with one hand and taking with the other in its financial support for some of the poorest students in England. The Department for Education brought forward the dates around pupil premium money, meaning schools will miss out on funding for thousands of pupils. Sky's Home Affairs editor Jason Farrell reports. East Lincolnshire, like the rest of the country, has seen growing numbers of families struggling financially. In lockdown, we saw how school welfare officers from Skegness Academy were ensuring disadvantaged children didn't lose their education. I've got a uh, laptop for Jaden. Children like Jaden, who lives in a and b and is classed as homeless. Right, you've got no problem accessing Microsoft no. Teams. You know. Now back in school, Jaden says the additional yeah. support is still needed. It's very important because, say, if we didn't have them teachers, um, then some of the students would have been lost, kind of thing, with no help. And it's still helpful during school time as well because if you need someone to talk to, you can go and talk to one of them or a different teacher. And what sort of things does that help with? Family problems, anything really, if you just need someone to talk to. There is a mechanism set up to support disadvantaged children like Jaden in schools. The pupil premium is paid by the government to schools as additional funding for every pupil who's entitled to free school meals. So for a primary school pupil, they get an additional £1,345. And for a secondary pupil, it's £955. Traditionally, the government bases its calculation on figures from January. But this year, the pupil premium calculation is based on the number of children on free school meals last October. New research by campaign group F40 shows that in just that three-month period, there's been an 8% rise in primary school children on free school meals and a 3.5% rise in secondary schools, which is therefore not factored into budgets. The research covers areas in a third of England's education authorities, finding a budget shortfall of £36 million. In Lincolnshire alone, it's £1.5 million. Our numbers have increased by about 90 children, so we've gone from just under 50% of our children qualifying for free school meal and people premium to nearly 60%. And a significant proportion of those have come onto the system since the October census. Yeah. So the way the funding works, that will be lagged. We won't get it any time soon, but we're still having to meet the needs of those children. The Department of Education says the calculation was moved to October to help schools plan their budgets earlier in the year. <laughs> and that even on the October calculation, pupil premium funding is expected to increase. But those looking out for children in poorer communities say they will have a shortfall. That funds uh, people like myself uh, as education welfare officers, uh, TAs, one-to-one -one support. So, yeah, it is going to be quite difficult for the next, next year or two. At Maplethorpe Primary near Skegness, Betty the therapy dog is a new innovation. Kids having a hard time can pet her or go for a walk, and she sometimes comes to visit if they don't turn up at school. Sometimes I get angry a lot, so when I get angry, Miss Higginbottom sometimes takes me out with Betty, and she always helps, calm, helps me calm down. How do you calm people down, exactly? What no-one's denying is that poverty in young families is on the rise bringing additional problems for children. And schools say the funds should match the needs. Jason Farrell, Sky News.